Today we're looking at a company called Tidewater. This is again another play on the oil offshore sector. Full disclosure, I do own a position in this stock and I have held a position for a while. As you can see on the screen is a snapshot of my portfolio and I bought this stock around the 15 US dollar mark. Since I bought that stock it has run quite a bit as you can see but I do expect it to keep running higher again this is not investment advice you can just this is purely for informational purposes and for myself to collect my thoughts about this stock so saying this i'm not going to get into why i'm bullish on the offshore sector i already created uh, three or four videos about this you can go check out each of those for a more comprehensive overview of the offshore sector so in this specific uh, video we are purely focused on why I'm bullish on Tidewater. Tidewater specializes in a fleet of offshore support vehicles. So they're actually providing a service to the previous company we spoke about, which was TransOcean Rig. The fleet is highly specialized for the offshore sector and cannot really be used in other sectors and vice versa. You can't really take some tanker or some other ship and do what is required in the offshore sector. You need these specific ships. Given the bear market we've seen over the last couple of years in this sector, the order book, which is new ships, is extremely low. So there's basically no new ships of this type coming onto the market, which basically means that there's a lack of supply of these ships. So the market is very tight and there's a real issue of aging fleets. So the market will get even tighter as these ships start to age. We saw in the previous video for TransOcean that the utilization rate is really starting to increase for rigs and this has a positive effect on Tidewater which is seeing its utilization hit that magical number of 80%. Once it gets above 80% we will really start to see that tightness in the market and this will eventually increase the day rates because there's going to be a less supply of ships and more people will need those ships which will basically increase the demand thus increasing the day rates and the free cash flow of this company so the balance sheet looks great on this company as has very little debt i guess emerging from chapter 11 does have its benefit it has a lot of physical assets which in the case of bankruptcy let's see they could sell all of those assets and pay back their shareholders We've also been noticing a lot of insider buying in this company. So that's a great sign. And overall, the valuation of this company is projected to be much higher. The general consensus is between analysts is around the 71 US dollar mark. So a lot of upside still in this company.